YouTube and shit, but I, I was around like some dope musicians when I was like 16, 17, 18 type shit. So mm -hmm. being around like 1500 or nothing, the homie Mars, he taught me a lot of chords and shit. Uh, Lawrence, a couple niggas was like showing me shit, but. Okay. So how the fuck you load all those samples into your computer and finding them like that? It's just files. MP3 files, WAV files, you just put them in folders and then... You just collect them as you go, though. I've been collecting shit since 03. Collecting Damn. sounds. I got my first uh, sound CD in mean, San Bernardino when I was uh, like 16 from this girl. She was making beats in uh, like, oh yeah, 03. And then uh, shit, kept fucking with it, just kept building. I still got them sounds to this day. How you know if something is catching your ear? Is it like the tempo or what? It's the way that, I don't know, it's just the way that it hit, like the tempo in the pocket. Patience, man. That's half the battle in this shit. There's <laughs> just like thousands of samples. So, an artist like Nas, when he come in here, do we do? You, are you going through this same process? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Just going through mass samples. Here, hear some shit. Be like, yo, go back to that one. Shit like that. When you in here with Big Hit, you doing this too? Not really, because he be in a, he got his own room, so he be just doing this shit. Like, he'll come in when I got some. Sometimes I'll cook with him, no, but for the most part, <clears throat> he be back there just cutting to, I need to cut to anything, YouTube, beat, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, he got his own room in here? It's in the back. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. crazy. I'll show that shit, too. You have been here for a long ass time in the studio. Yeah. For real. You've been in here for some years. You ever think about having like a, your own like studio house or you know what I mean? Being out of here? Yeah, I mean, bro, I, that was the cold part is that I moved in here because I was forced to. Nigga, I had a crib in Beverly Hills. That's the whole situation where basically like I was paying for the crib and the studio. I had like a few studios in there and I was like, nigga didn't have the bread to afford the spot no more. That's when I moved here. Say my bread, I went back and bought the spot this year type shit. Oh, the spot that you had to get yeah. kicked out of. Uh -huh. yep. No, that's dope. Yeah, yep. Oh, okay, you remodeling that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, no, that shit finna be some shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you finna take all your shit over there? Or are you gonna just um, keep your studio here? I might still have this studio. But uh, shit, I got a couple cribs, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm trying to set up studios at all my shit. Hold on. Uh -huh. What did you learn from Kanye from sampling beats? Shit, like look for parts that's not obvious. Like that's why I fuck with like. The way I sample, I try to just find parts that's not like the most obvious, easy part to, you know what I mean? Fuck with type shit. To identify? Or mm, just to, yeah. Yeah, to identify? <laughs> We finna have to call Nas right now. <laughs> That's calling. It's finna, it's finna stir up, cuz. Nas dear, cuz, where you at? I 
I'll probably just like record that and just save it type shit and go to the next sample. I'll be doing shit like that too. Oh, this shit is tight, man. You feel me? I, he ain't even really did that. Uh, I love this shit. <laughs> nah, fuck all that. Y'all niggas gonna have to write me something, uh -huh. man. Awesome. What if I do a song and it just go platinum? It can happen, right? Oh, it can definitely go. It can happen. And then I'm up there like. <laughs> okay, this is what you get too when they nominate you. Uh huh. Yep. You get one of those in like a little <clears throat> certificate type shit. Is it like a goal that you would have like a year? You know what I'm saying? As far as the placements go? Man, hell no. I can't count it. I just go, bro. And at the end of the year, I don't, I don't even, I don't even count the shit. I just like. Right now, I'm looking at more so projects, like how many projects a year I'm doing and placements. You know what I mean? Early in my career, I was just trying to get you know beat off, but now I'm like, I've been trying to like really do niggas' projects. So now that I got that energy, utilizing that shit. So if you was a younger producer and you coming up, you feel me? What would you tell a younger producer? You know what I mean? How would you start off as far as like working with artists? Man, <clears throat> just look for people that you think is dope and fuck with them whatever level they at, you know what I mean? I met a lot of dudes before they was on, man. A lot of, a lot of niggas, like, like real superstars. So it's like you never know who somebody going to turn out to be. So if you think they dope, just be open to working with them, you know what I mean? about that ex phone nigga. He tight. Yeah. He tight. I think he got potential though, bro. Yeah. I think he got potential. He don't put a lot of the bullshit in his music either. Right. I don't notice. You feel me? He whipped the bullshit though, but he don't put it in his music. He cool. What you think about him? I fuck with him. Yeah. He's doing his shit. I seen a couple of interviews and shit. Watch some of his videos and shit. I mean, he definitely keep it gangster. Right. You know what I'm saying it's authentic. Uh huh. He be doing his thing. I fuck with it. Right now, nah, fuck, fuck with what he got going on. Catch some on this shit, rap shit. That was a good little quick exercise right there. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah. Somebody yeah, rap on that bitch <laughs> at some point. That's crazy. Rap, you know I mean? Type shit, but that's man. a shell. How I feel to be a genius? Time, my nigga. This shit is regular.